Not too long ago, I made a video called Villains That I Love That Everyone Else Hates. So today, I'm doing the backwards version of it. I'm doing villains that pretty much everyone likes, except for me. I don't like them. I think they get a little crazier as it goes on. I have some villain reviews of some of the other ones on my other channel. Check it out. I'm saving my hottest take for the end. First up, I have Jason Voorhees. I know, a legendary, iconic horror villain. And I can acknowledge that he's iconic. I just think he's kind of boring. I don't think any of these villains are like horrible bad villains. I just don't get the big deal. He's like a new version of Michael Myers, but not as ominous. He's not as cool as Freddy, Candyman, some of these other big slashers of this era. I just don't think there's anything really special about him. Yeah, his mask is iconic. Nothing really to get excited about. And I think his mom, First of all, the villain in the first film, obviously, his mom, that's like, that's interesting. That's exciting. And then he gets kind of cartoony as the series goes on. He goes, go to Manhattan. I'm going to space. Jason, stop, stop, dude, stop. You're ruining your legacy. Up next, I'm going to Boba Fett. I think maturing in life is looking at Boba Fett and being like, yeah, the design's sick. The design's awesome. One of the coolest designs in Star Wars. The dude's lame as hell. They hype him up. Oh, Boba Fett's this crazy bounty hunter. Oh, Boba Fett's like the craziest bounty hunter in all the land, in all the space. In the actual original trilogy, dude never wins a fight. Never. He just gets punked the whole entire time. He shows up. He stands in the corner trying to look cool. And then he just gets punked at the Sarlacc pit. And then they bring him back. And that show's lame. Gosh dang it, what a waste of a cool design. Boba Fett's lame, not a fan of him. That's my thoughts on that. Up next, I have Vector from Despicable Me. A lot of people like Vector. A lot of people like Vector a lot. And I will say the best part of the character is Jason Siegel's performance, his delivery. That's fun. That's really cool. I'm a Jason Siegel fan, and I think he does great in this role. But, like, dude, he's sometimes he's kind of annoying, too. Sometimes he goes a little too far gets a little annoying. I just, again, nothing really interesting for a villain. Don't like him. This is probably my least favorite on the list. Up next, I'm going to the video game world before I get to my fifth one, which might be my most absurd yet. I'm going to the video game world. I'm going to Shao Kahn from Mortal Kombat. I was looking into it. If you look up best video game villains, Shao Kahn's going to show up. But I think this is a testament to say that just because a villain has been around for a long time, just because they've had lots of appearances, that doesn't make them good. Man, Shao Kahn just seems like a generic overlord evil villain. And I've played a lot of the Mortal Kombat games. I was really into Mortal Kombat like five years ago. I knew all the lore. I played all the games through the story. I played ranked online. I got intense. Shao Kahn's so boring. Again, his design's cool. But just, he has no personality to him. He has no good motivation outside of, I want to destroy the world. He's just such a boring, bland character. My last take, though, which I think is a big one, is I don't like Cersei from Game of Thrones. And yeah, she's kind of like the main villain from the series. And I think the performance is cool. But for me, there are so many villains in Game of Thrones that I'm like, damn. That's a good villain. Whether there's something really evil about them, something I love their personality, it's interesting, it's engaging, it's different. Cersei doesn't really do that to me. I'm kind of always like, okay, back to Cersei. She's a jerk. I hate her. That's the point of the character. I get that. But I'm never excited. As a character, I'm not that interested in Cersei. I'm not that like excited to see what's gonna happen with her next. All of the Lannisters, they're all cool. They're all engaging and really evil. And Cersei, probably the most evil of them all, just, I don't know, doesn't stand out to me as much as some of the other villains in this show. She's cool. She's fine. Don't, don't like her, though. Don't love her. She's not, like, this legendary TV villain for me. Well, that's my list. Let me know why you think I'm wrong in the comments. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.